that sucker. I walk forward knowing that I will find whatever the greatest secret I need to find is. Okay. It is the belief and behavior that led me to figuring out heaven and the laws of death. Dun, dun, dun. So clearly I can navigate a fucking interstitial space. That's fair. I will get back to you. That's fair. Um, um, because he was about to say something else to the corpse. No, you're not. Stop. Uh, okay. uh, no, actually I walked away from the corpse as soon as oh, okay. the skull fell off. His you were like, uh, I gotta go by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's it me? <laughs> um, you stop. No, you're not. As you're, where do you go? Oh, I'm searching for my own book. Okay. Um, one of uh, engineering oh. in China. Right. Well, maybe not all in one, but one that maybe like experiments. Of so you're running into the issue where the books that you're looking at are all in this weird language uh, that anytime you try to like decipher the glyphs or look at the symbols, you feel yourself ache. Like you feel, it's it's like the it's like the approach of death. Um, as you are searching through and you turn the corner, you see a person, like fully fleshed. They appear like they're living. There's still the lack of color that is pervasive throughout this place, and he's just standing there. And he looks at you. Hello, Hello. Prince Toronto. How do you know who I am? You introduced yourself. Are you one of the table sitters? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, when I was like, I was like, I mean, he stops and turns around like, really? <laughs> what? Do you happen to be one of the guides? I am the guides. Oh. Oh, right. Just fine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you asked me to. You asked me to follow you, and then you keep hitting me in the face. <laughs> Fire! I assure you that's because I'm blindfolded. <laughs> because I'm trying to hit you in the face. <laughs> your hand is still there. Yes, but certainly if I was trying for your you face, I had an I interesting know. traveling crew. You get off. <laughs> and you insist. No. No, no, not in the library. <laughs> we may not see it, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long. It's difficult going places. At times. <laughs> That's a I would imagine it, especially since you have half your party in one place in the House of Dust and half your party in another. Oh, so they're not here in the library. No. Oh my god, Prince. They're in the hallway. There is no here. That's here where I am. They are here. And here is a hallway. Where they are. <laughs> and you are here. And here is a library. No, it's not that. Here I go to the exit. <laughs> is that what you needed? Uh, something that I ought to do. He's still in the library. Yep. He was walking around the library trying to find books he could read. Yep. Oh yeah, don't read the books. Yeah, no, I... Uh, mm, the language of the dead can only be understood by the dead. I... Uh, Hello. Would you like to join us? I don't know. Who are you? I'm the guides. I grab a book off the shelf and I start to go to the writers. So like, can you read this? Uh, yes! It is a history of plants. <laughs> <laughs> you have found a history of plants. Good job. <laughs> Do you want? You can read any book in the library. Yes, I can. Too bad Pyra isn't in the library. Exactly. Yes. 
almost as though those who cross the threshold don't need the knowledge that they left behind. Does my eye, is it capable of reading? No. Okay. It is not an eye of the dead. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> my eye? No. Well, I mean, well. <laughs> yeah, I can hear an angel. Not I want to fucking eat that shit! I thought you knew that. Oh. Yes, it did. Yeah, no, I'm aware. Oh. I want to eat your eye. <laughs> Give me that it's shit. It's punchy and metallic. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, when you eat it. I'll swallow that whole thing down my throat, son. My body. I what are you going to do with my food? food. <laughs> anyway. So. As soon as your friend decides to take off the blindfold, he will have found himself in the library. Do you need assistance? No. I... Why? Why are you blindfolded? I don't need to see to know what I am. You need to see to be able to read, though. No, you don't. <laughs> He can't do it. So, um, <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, Byron's about to be like, he can't read. <laughs> like, he's never been able to. It's like, no, he can he's, write, he's writing it. gibberish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's writing gibberish. He sends a letter and everybody just assumes, like, oh, yeah, I know that is. Why do I he's always spell your guys' He's the only one brave enough to try to write a letter oh, without no. actually knowing how to write a letter. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, I'm of, assuming uh, the prince and uh, Minions is coming. <laughs> well, the I prince's mean, seal is on here. I mean, and gibberish is inside. <laughs> well, uh, oh, oh, that's what you meant by Aeneas is coming. Yeah. Uh, See, I meant it differently because uh, I know the other one. <laughs> uh, as a reminder for the audience, um, actually, it means does know how to read and write. Uh, <laughs> but that was not true at the beginning of last season. <laughs> uh, Listen, wait, did. Just to rehash, because B's buzz brain forgot, all the first season got corrupted. Mm. Not oh. enough of it to yeah. where it, it, it wouldn't have oh, made. That's sad. It wouldn't have good. Mm. Yeah. That's so. Like it, yeah. So I responded to the guy. Why I don't need to see to know why. It's not about knowing who you are, really. You are where you perceive yourself to be. Right. By putting the blindfold on, you have reset your senses and told where to be expected. Right. You can feel the bookshelves, but you are still in the hallway perceive the library so that you may be in the library. For the purposes of, of education. Why? I mean, this is, is, by the way, also untying the, hand, the, the blindfold as he asks, or as he says, for the purposes of education. <clears throat> Why? So that and he keeps his eyes closed while he was in the city. So that you may join us in the library for politeness. I can certainly agree to politeness. Okay. Uh, Pyre does feel a hand on his shoulder. Um, it is the guy. The guy has walked over to you and basically just calmly put a hand on your shoulder. And you see the hallway just expand out very quickly, like dust falling off. And as the dust resettles, it forms into the library. I do appreciate that. Is it just the guides? Yes. Okay. We are known as the guides. That's all. I am the guides. We are the guides. We are many and we are one. Yes. But you came here from the Lords of Dust. I take it you did not get what you needed out of them. 
as you do. Uh, no, we did. You did? We got a suitable answer. Yeah. One that we can use, I'm assuming. We haven't attempted it, though. But yeah. Well, we are currently attempting a venture, <laughs> but we're not at our run destination. We haven't attempted that yet. No, you're not. Travel through the House of Dusk can be interesting. And it is not necessarily as simplistic as they have described it, yet it is even simpler than that. Uh, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs>
we can facilitate giving you such guidance. Do you wish it for what cause? That's always the question. What is such service worth to you? A shrine. A shrine. A shrine. So if you were in my shoes, giving this service, you would expect a shrine as payment. Yes. And pray tell, who would the patrons of this shrine be? People of Earth. And how would they hear of it? Bigger picture. Payment rendered when services are completed, not before. You take us to Earth, we fold your name into our greater tense. Why? I do not need the adoration or praise of the living. You're right. You don't. But the passage does. Why? Why not have an easier pass? Why not enjoy the benefits of a job more simply done? If you succeed in your job on Earth, the dead will stop being shunted here and instead go to the underworlds appropriate to them through here. It is not a matter of whether it can be easier or not, for that is for the individual. You are their guide, aren't you? We are the guides. That does not mean we guide everyone who comes through here. If us Correct. You're the road keepers. No. Is it true we're just information? If we fix Whatever is going on, causing humanity to appear here when they should be appearing somewhere else, their underworld, their afterlife, um, would that be sufficient payment? Would you accept that as payment? In my shoes, would you? I would. Then yes. If that is what this service is worth to you, then I accept that payment. Such an odd place. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's accepting all of our payments, so he's getting a good deal. He's like, <laughs> 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 Get an easier job, get a shrine, whatever these two fucks give me. You <laughs> shit! He hasn't turned an ass to them. Nope. He doesn't have to! Nope. Yeah. He's actually the one that asked. <laughs> what is the payment? I don't know, what is the payment? <laughs> yeah, he didn't bring a payment. <laughs> over to a, uh, part, uh, another shelf uh, in the library, and he looks at the books, and he grabs one, and he goes, well, yeah, we can make a few alterations to this one. There we go. On Earth, you find yourself suddenly losing a battle that you were distinctly winning. Your foe that you have disarmed and plowed to the ground and you are about to skewer through <laughs> oh, God. suddenly has another sword land next to him from another foe who is just disarmed, grabs the sword, and stabs it up to your gut. Does else no, you're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm shit. sorry, does anybody else smell blood? 
I smell blood. As you fall, <laughs> oh, damn it. you don't feel the pain associated with it. And you see your body fall to the ground, your perception not falling with it. And a hand rests on your shoulder, and you find yourself suddenly in a dark library with no color and dust and bones around the shelves. Hey, friend. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, your guide back to Earth. I'll just stare at him. Like a horrible That, is, that will be where I fall. <laughs> oh, <Craig. laughs> Craig. No, you're not! Don't even say it! You're not! It's okay, I would yeah. Don't lie to me! Hey, did you know that carrots are good for your eyes? <laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> Hang on, there's something on your face! It was pay! <laughs> Sorry. I'm not sorry, I don't have the capacity. I'm just going to say those words. I don't actually have the capacity to do this. I worked retail for almost 10 years. I have nothing. There's, I'm all dead inside! Which is hilarious, but you know, I have a dead character. Hey, friend. Hello. So, am I in I'm able to see them, right? Yeah! Like, you're there in the library. You see these four fucks. I'm going to let them describe them, what their characters actually look like to you, since we haven't done that. Um, and then you can describe however you want, what you want your character to look like. Um, and that, that's pretty much, this is also like the, the scene that I called it on as well. So like, you guys can do a little bit of talking if you want and such. Uh, through the through the aspect of, of the jarring of being suddenly ripped into the house of dust, your character is welcome to remember or not remember anything. Okay. Like, his name, where he was born. Yeah, that. The other <laughs> trucks. What is your name? What <laughs> is your. I'm sorry. Those things will come back to your character when he gets back to Earth. I don't know that. You're <gasps> artificially dead by the workings of a minor deity. Okay. So. Just minor. That has some effects on the human soul. Not all of the information necessarily got brought uh, with you, so like uh, remembering yes. your name or your family or things. No. But you do feel I a I I think was asked. off from like the nebulous distance. Basically uh, your body on earth basically pulling you back towards it because you are not supposed to be dead yet. Okay. Like you you have that distinct feeling. I'm not supposed to, that is not what was supposed to happen. That was not, what the fuck? No! I was no, supposed to win that. No! Do over. This bitch. This bitch was almost dead, knocked to the ground with no weapon. I had this bitch. I, I had know. this bitch dead to rights. I just sucked my dick. I mean, <laughs> die. Stick. Oh my god, wow. I was supposed to be like alive I've and breathing, and, and this is not even okay. What, what, what? Stop breathing in dick for five <laughs> se Stop. Stop. We are in the house of dust. Okay. Really? So, really? It's a dusty dick. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with Jeff and go around to describe what people look like so that it's one for the I mean, people viewing at home and two for tombs. No. Alright, so Albert Titterin is looks to be about 30 ish. Uh, he's dressed in the full regalia of the Wizard, essentially, or Which, sorcerer. You probably wouldn't necessarily know what that is. Yeah. But Tombs, the player knows yeah. what that means. Your yeah. character does that. Who the fuck dresses like that? Like, <laughs> oh, is that is that a weird style of priest for someone? Yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. that hat that uh, goes up about a couple feet and then folds and then touches the floor. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but it's a wizard's it's a pointed yeah. wizard's hat that is so tall that it goes up about a foot, folds over and all the way down to the Does it still have a stain on it though? Yes, yes it does still have a stain on it. Hey girl, hey, hey. hey. it's sacrificed in the line of duty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking hat it, you know it's fine. I love you. So yeah the his dress is very nice looking. Uh, he's got brown hair and brown eyes, if I remember correctly. Just, just, just two brows, not, not one. Yeah, just two. Though he I'm does sorry, have, I'm sorry. If I'm I remember correctly, he does actually have a scar on that over his face. 
It does. I cannot remember, but it was in a fight, I think, at some point. Control. No. No. I have been one of the zombies. I don't think so, dude. Not you, at least. Might have been in the fight with the head previous head master when we killed him and that stuff. Now, see, that sounds familiar. I don't think you got it from the last, like, crazy ass battles of, hey, we made this giant plan. No. How'd that go, Greg? Uh, he's got very noble features, though. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like a no noble born human. Hold on, let me double check on that. Keep describing yourself, goddammit. Amelius is hot. He has two nipples, a belly button, <laughs> a full uh, selfie. He's got a sword and a staff that doesn't actually do anything yet. He's and most slightly bag. fried yeah, because a large he's bag with a bunch of books. literally fried like a single person several times. And smells like ozone, like you stuck a fork in a light socket. I do smell you like down. ozone because I am a wielder of my theory of heaven. Yeah. yeah, am I fucking right? right. I'm right. fucking yeah. right. Yep. Question? So what is the like fucker era time that's on Earth? Ancient. Ancient times. You're in the Sumerian time frame. Yep. Going back to Brawl. Sumer, Babylon, the Mesopotamia area. Bronze era. Bronze. Oh, I don't actually have what I'm going to call we came from like a high no, medieval. You, I thought you just changed your picture of the city. Yeah, their clothing yeah, is a bit odd. Oh. It's oh. too advanced. To, yeah. yeah, it's really advanced. I like your new picture, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The picture is perfect. I need to actually change pirate. He's changed, but he also died. So, you know. <laughs> that okay, yeah, you're used to clothing that's more like... Utilitarian and wraps. Wraps and belts and long rings. Fabric, long pieces of fabric wrapped around the person. Yeah. Wrapped over your dick. So, like, like, a lot of people of station will have yeah. a, a metal Pants. ring. Protect that shit from the <laughs> sand, And then son. they wrap their cloth around them and through the ring you have pants. to hold it in place. And I have decorative. pants under the okay. um, And then armor straps on over it. Robes. Robes. No one needs to know that I'm not wearing pants. So what would like the... What's that? Wow. Yeah, so is there like any type like of in the basic thing. armor type for like somebody who's a soldier? Or oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. breastplates are still a thing. Like, like our, uh, 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 leather armor. But instead of it being like leather pants, you have like shin guards that strap onto your shins, and then you have a waist guard basically that wraps around your waist and then hangs down yeah, that over sense. your groin, ass, and thighs. Uh, I can't, I can't. This is how we do it! <laughs> you know what? I rolled with your. It's fine. No, it's fine. I love you anyway. Right. Amenius. I can't not. It's ridiculous. That's fine. Amenius looks like sex walking. Um, yes. Amenius yeah, is. is. And interestingly enough, I mean, Amenius could actually, like, fit in as a Grecian trait. He looks, he has the Grecian physique without necessarily, um, like, on the sun side. Were this ancient Greece, he would be not nearly as attractive because he's thinner. But he still has those, you know, the broader shoulders, the thinner waist, the lean, lithe, athletic figure, the brown hair, and green eyes. Not reflected in the picture. I think the picture is brown. It has blonde hair. Um, blonde hair and dark eyes. In a picture. Oh, okay, cool. So it's just the picture of a brown hair. Um, I have gray eyes. I'm sorry. Not yet. Um, there is, as you see him, a shifting of darkness around him, independent of the light source. It's one of those weird first impression things that you see him, and that primordial sense of preservation within you. So it's, uh, he's really pretty, but that's not normal. That's not. It's it's like that primordial instinct humans to this day still get when you are walking somewhere and you look down for a place where you are thinking of going and you look and you see that it's 
way darker than you expected, and you don't know what's down there, and you hesitate for a moment. Literally that. Like you see him and you're like, hey girl. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait. Mm. No. He's not universally attractive, but he is attractive. I don't have supernatural bend your sexuality power. Um, Not yet. Honey, we know. Hey, hey. But yeah, I'm not going to tell. You should go with like, that first thing, so it's like you smell yeah. ozone. Yeah. Lightning. Just, just that, yeah. That, yeah. that sudden impression of, of what we could theoretically do. For, for Ray's character, Prince Ray Toronto, um, there is a slight it's, it's weird to put into your character's mind frame because it's mechanical. It's, it's artificial built. So like you smell ozone, there's the lurking shadows. Uh, lurking shadows. And then, and then there's the first impression of artificial. Something made. But in a person. Uh, I was gonna say. Yes, in a person. Not to sure. us. At least. Not to us. No. Well, mm -hmm. um, I got to as, that. as a fair reminder, Babylon the Sooner had the most advanced astrology of literally any time period. Well, yes, this is true. And, and they also had gears and sprockets and things like that as well. Yes. So, like, you guys are your own So, so we're a group of fact. Yeah. Which we're running with. So, yeah. He he seems mechanical, yet not. That that's kind of the first instinct you get from the prince. And it's just with his armor, and everything. Just, just him everything as a whole. Kind of, that's like kind of like a blanket first instinct feel. It's um, kind of like you can smell iron. When you look at him, it's obvious like person, and then when his arm moves and stuff, you can tell that that's moving in the way gears and levers and pulleys and shit does. Okay. <laughs> so what, go ahead and describe what you're looking at. Um, yeah, uh, well first, uh, what you can see in my hand, it looks real-ish. You can tell that it's not quite real, um, but it's mostly covered. Um, uh, I'm tall, like six, I think I'm six foot. I think you're six foot. Yeah, oh, yeah um, we're fucking giants. Yeah, we are really giant. tall. Yeah, I don't know how, like, I'm, I'm assuming you're short. Ah! Uh, For the time period, you, no? Interestingly enough, it happens in the colonial time period, but mm -hmm. it's not um, verified to stuff. It's not, it doesn't show up in other time periods. Oh, okay. There's okay. something about the late Edwardian period that says a lot of non nutrition worldwide uh, um, that isn't reflected anywhere else during the time period. Okay. Now, now. Um, no, people have not been getting taller as time has progressed. That was a weird thing. <laughs> no, tell me about that one, Dennis. I'm good. So he's a uh, tall, um, muscular, older, about 50. Um, he's pretty old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, once you get past that mechanical, he's the, one, he, he, the secondary thing you do notice as a mercenary is what? this is a veteran. This is. This is somebody who has spent their life by the sword. Okay. Um, I am a vice president. I have that. I have that understanding. Oh, like maybe you should not. Neo, you might have killed people at some point. Yeah. That's not. I um, smell iron. I also smell blood. It kind of mixes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, graying hair tied back. Uh, kind of long? Um, yeah, it's not a man one. It's not a man bun. Um, <laughs> not a man bun. Uh, it's dark gray with white streaks. Um, regal clothes that are pristine. They're always clean. No, we'll get to know that. I can't get dirty. I, I don't think he can either. Mm -hmm. um, it's a no, trait. It's not that he can't get dirty. It's that I'm always appropriate for the situation. Oh, <laughs> mine is I can't get dirty. I was going to say, that would be <laughs> really I can walk through three feet of mud and walk out. Completely clean. I was yeah. gonna say, you <laughs> at least you would want to at least have a little bit of dirtiness. Um, I'm wearing a jacket um, with uh, an ornament, ornamented vest, um, and pants, trousers. 
which is weird. I don't think anybody else is wearing nope. diapers. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Venus is the only person wearing a bra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had anything less than presentable. <laughs> um, with an arm. Also, Venus is actually always wore masks. Okay. What is that thing yeah. called? The 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 shawl thing that goes over the arm. Pauldron. No, it's not. Okay. It's not armor. It's not a shoulder armor. Like a mantle. Oh, oh, is it a mantle? mantle. Yeah, Your mantle. So a mantle is goes over just the shoulder. One shoulder. One or both. You oh, okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. what Ezio wears? Yeah. And yeah. Well, great. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh God. Just that one piece, though. He carries two swords, and wow, you are not helping. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Does my eye? No, to be no, your eye looks. Uh, they're oh. different colors. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's the only thing that's off about the You're eye. Like David Bowie. Like my normal one is blue. Mm -hmm. But my other one is. It's like a metallic green. Okay. 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 It it looks like it's it's uh it it I kind mean, of looks almost emerald. Rusted. Okay. Um. To be fair, Prince started off carrying only one sword. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Oh, so, higher. I'm sorry. I. Oh, it's fine. We love you, Greg. You're the best princess. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. yes. You keep saying that, and yet the audience can never see that. Nope. No, no they can't. We didn't record it to you. No, yeah. yeah. We didn't, but it was. Let me. Let us tell you, important. it was beautiful. <laughs> hey. You have, the, you have the musical Okay, so, going. describe Pyre. Uh, effectively, if we are going from what I first created him as, because I wasn't aware of the timeline, I was silly. Very similar to a, what would have been futuristic Baptist priests type of robes, but, uh, very similar to that, kind of a wasp waist. At this point, dirty dishwater kind of hair, but uh, there's something that looks distinctly uh, not alive <laughs> about him. Maybe it's the pigment of his skin? You've been around enough corpses that that's a corpse. <laughs> Maybe it's the factor that his eyes have gone a little bit darker than normal, but uh, the, the totally, <laughs> totally normal. Human. I am real boy. You want to yes, just ignore boards? the complete sense of blood. Yeah, it's fine. That ain't my fault. You, from Pyre, you get two distinct natural, like, instinctual feelings from. One, you get the response that you would get from any uh, predator. Like you walk into the woods and you find a wolf that is up to your shoulders and it's looking at you and you're like, oh. Um, it's like when you're standing in the, the water other time, and you see the shark like maybe a few feet away, but it's like, hey. Yeah. Hi, girl. Hey. Oh, fuck. But at the same time. Was it empty? Yeah. yeah okay. 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 At the same time, it's just this feeling of holiness. Like you are in the presence of a vessel to the deity. And it's gonna eat you. You might also smell mahogany. That's not me. That's the person that's that exists in me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, we don't know where it's walking from. <laughs> to be fair, have you ever stuck your mahogany. head inside of like a nicely, elegantly carved, freshly carved no. wooden coffin? No. It's like that. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, cool. this thing has just been shown me. <laughs> It's like, oh, this casket was just freshly carved. It smells like dark pine. Gee, I wonder what that is. It's kind of like that. I got a box of dice. Uh, Dennis got them for me, the artisan <laughs> oh dice. God, I remember it's that. a cedar box, and I was like, this smells so good. I held it out to a friend. Dice box of purple heart dice. And I'm like, smell this, this smells great. And my friend sniffs it, and that's when we find out that he's actually allergic to cedar. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no! He's like, that's no! Oh. No! Oh. 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 Get it out! 
No, it was, oh my god, it wasn't Sean, it was Drew. It was Drew. Drew was on a Dixie. And not, his name wasn't Sean. Do you know what you want your character to look like? Uh, a little know? bit. So it's going to be kind of like a rough draft. Okay. Or you can you can okay, do your character's description at the beginning of the next round. Mm-hmm. You can do that. Uh, yeah. I'm a gale site. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah. And do you need to make the obsidian? Uh, when we get together this week, uh, we'll uh, do the obsidian portal. No one was able. Right. All tombs. Actually, yeah, because we actually need him. Yeah, we, we yeah. need you to get like persona and stuff. Hey, like, Brian, uh, you the, died. The, like, we need him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Actually, get yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> the further the story, we need him. Sorry, you died. Not really. I don't think anybody made any uh, work towards a no. personal goal. Not really. No. I mean, I showed a weakness in my personal goal. God, do I have the personal goals anymore? Shit. Oh, I've got one. I got a big one. I have the big one. <laughs> big Kahuna. Greater yeah. deep, uh, greater goals. Accomplishing goals bigger than you. Apotheosis. Not yet. Please don't stick it in my ass. Uh, there's been the groundwork for some uh, that could be accomplished, possibly before you leave the house of dust. So there is round work for it to happen within the next session, maybe two, depending on how long you guys take in the house of this. Right. Uh, beyond the call. Helping no matter the cost. <laughs> Tombs died. <laughs> Tombs. You died. I didn't even start and I've already died. <laughs> you <Yeah, I> died. <laughs> Girl, welcome to the gang. <laughs> she, uh... See, the problem was we were born in the afterlife, so... <laughs> like, that's already, that's setting the precedent. At least we know the concept of death. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Not because we met him. Excuse you? Well, some people you're, aren't you're very good at following the concept yeah. of death. Yeah, like it's just. <laughs> it's kind of like a bushy, mushy. I Well, the prince, I don't know. We found his, like, person at the bottom of this. How did you get down here? I don't know. A priest pushed me, like. Yelling angrily. <laughs> Making a note of Toon's starting art, so I don't forget. <laughs> that was two persona points, so I'm still hoarding art, though. Why? 30, 23. Jesus Christ! You could have an epiphany by then! I know. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I know. <laughs> so. Artha is used to make <laughs> alterations to rolls, yeah, 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 increase your chances, that's 20, 10, uh, yeah, 20, 10 and make re-rolls, yeah. uh, survive death, like if you don't want your character to die, you spend a persona, your character will be powerful. Um, My enchanting is too Except for narrative deaths that are actually not going to be used to penalize you. Or you can uh, that you know, that you death like to get you into the house of death, you know, death is a temporary, it's, 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 it's kind of like a small death. Yeah. The the deity only kill killed you <laughs> and put your soul in the house of dust. That's why you still feel Is it the, the time. Mm-hmm. So you return your soul to your body, you're alive. If some asshole severs the link between no, your soul and your body, stay, I, then you're dead. Yeah. Okay. I none of the NPCs are gonna do that, but well, you know, these players are kind of dicks. Oh, uh, more <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I uh, I literally have a vessel of death inside of me, so.